Muchas gracias, afición. Este para vosotros. Hey everyone, I wanted to start the video with letting you guys know that the Hardcore series will now be uploaded weekly on every Wednesday at 9am MST. Streaming will still happen more randomly, but expect it almost every day in the afternoon. Day 31! The day started off by trying to get a mending trade from the designated librarian villager, and after around 40 seconds, I got it. But, for 27 emeralds. I headed out of the villagers' houses and grabbed my emeralds. Then I farmed all my wheat, traded it with this villager, and then headed down into the mine. The second I got down there, I had to go all the way back up, because I realized I needed more coal for more torches. By the time I got back home, I was getting attacked by phantoms, so I went to bed. The next morning, I expanded the farm, filled it with new seeds, and moved on to farming all of my sugarcane. I turned it all into paper, then used it to trade for more emeralds. Afterwards, I sheared all of the sheep, cut down some more trees, and decided it was time to go to the nether. So I built my portal over here, lit the portal, and jumped in pretty much instantly. The spawn that I got wasn't that great, because it was surrounded by a bunch of trees, and not a whole lot of anything. I mined down to this quartz for some XP, and also just because I wanted some quartz. Afterwards, I headed back home. Once I got back home, I made some observers, then headed into the mine and started mining some cobblestone. Once I got back to the surface, I made a bunch of pistons and started clearing out this area next to the farm. I made a waterway because the plan was for this to be a sugarcane farm, so then I placed the pistons in the observers, then grabbed some sugarcane from the old farm and placed it at the new farm. Afterwards, I placed a chest with the hopper so that all the sugarcane could get caught and put into a chest. I did the redstone with dirt temporarily, then decided to farm all of the wheat. I traded it all with this villager, then used all the emeralds to buy another mending book. Then I used the mending book on my pickaxe and started to expand the new sugarcane farm even more. I placed the pistons and the observers on the new side, then I placed the new sugarcane and went to bed. Afterwards, I went back into the mine and worked on placing torches throughout the cave, but there were a ton of mobs that I had to fight. I also found some diamonds, and after about 40 minutes of mining, I mined back up to the surface where it was sundown. Once I got back to base, I started smelting all of the golden iron that I got, farmed all of the sugarcane and some leather, then used it to make books and some bookshelves. I farmed all of the wheat again and traded the rest with this farmer villager, but immediately after, I went back to the farm and kept farming more wheat, then made more books and use them to make even more bookshelves. I went back into the nether and started mining quartz to fix my pickaxe some more, but once I got back home, I expanded the pumpkin farm and finally ran out of space so I had to place new chests. I chopped down all of the bamboo, which gave me so much, and traded a bunch of wheat with this farmer again. Afterwards, I headed back into the mine to keep mining this area for more cobblestone, and after mining for quite a while, I put all of this cobblestone into the furnaces to smelt back into stone. I got tired of waiting for the sugarcane to grow, so I tested the farm on my own, and for the most part, it worked, but it didn't collect all of it, which was the problem. Because I couldn't collect all of the sugarcane, and I didn't have any glass to make the farm work while making it look pretty at the same time, I packed it all up for now. Because I still needed a new sugarcane farm though, I started making one behind the villagers' houses. This one was pretty huge. This villager accidentally grew up outside of the house and turned into an armorer villager, so I had to bring him back in with the boat. I grabbed all of the stone from the furnaces and turned it into stone bricks, which I used to expand the walls. Eventually, the phantoms bugged me enough though, so I went to bed. Day 38, I used the stone blocks that I had on hand to keep building the wall, and then I farmed all the sugarcane that was outside of the walls of the compound and turned it into paper. I used the paper to turn into books, turn the bookshelves into bookshelves, and finally turn the bookshelves into lecterns. I used the lecterns to try to get a new good trade from a villager, and after not that long, I got a fortune 3 trade from this villager. So I kept that trade and tried to get a good one with this villager as well, and after a much longer time with this villager, I got a looting 1 trade, which I decided to keep. I farmed some sugarcane and planted it to expand the new farm, then I farmed all of the wheat and traded it all with this villager. Afterwards, I headed into the nether. In the nether, I farmed some quartz that was on the ceiling to heal my pickaxe mostly, but also just because I wanted some more quartz. I kind of just explored the nether around me a little bit and found this warp forest, but after a little while, I went back home. I made the quartz into quartz blocks and headed into the mine to gather cobblestone. Once I got out of the mine, I popped all of the cobblestone that I got into the furnaces to cook. I used the bricks that I had already in the furnaces to keep building up the wall a little bit, and the next thing I did was farm all of my sugarcane again so that I could plant more down and expand the farm. I farmed all of the wheat that I could and used it to get even more emeralds. I headed into the nether and began to gather quartz to repair my pickaxe, but other than collecting some soul sand, I missed this jump and fell into the lava. I was panicking a lot and ate golden apples while swimming up to the surface, but once I got up there, I placed dirt so that I could get out of the lava and just stand here and heal. I also killed this ghast with its own fireball. Then I went back to base. At base, because I used all of my golden apples in the nether, I made some more, and while I was looking in this chest, I actually got struck by lightning, which is super rare. After crafting some iron doors and iron pressure plates, I headed to this corner to make another entrance to the compound. It involved a lot of running back to the other side to make sure I was making it exactly like the other side. There was a lot of deforestation involved as well. I also turned the stone from the furnaces into stone bricks and placed them on the walls. I finished putting all of the sugarcane that I could on the new farm, so then I turned the rest into paper. Then I made a fishing rod and started fishing with it right away. I fished all the way into the next morning and got ready for the next 10 days.